bottom line with this printer and this is my personal opinion uh, I've worked with previous versions of the i3 before uh, the duplicator i3 and then the duplicator i3 1.5 this printer excels and exceeds both of those um, it's pretty much if you need a bulletproof tool to 3d print either at work or as a home as a hobby or to help around the house I couldn't recommend anything better than this printer um, it, it's bulletproof it it's from a company that really listens to their customers in the past have taken all their suggestions and made a printer that is not only easy to assemble but is a craftsman tool um, they also back this 3D printer with a one-year warranty. If anything goes wrong, let them know. Call the customer service, and they'll get you figured out really, really quick. Reasons to consider this printer. Again, that all-metal sturdy frame. Most of the printers in this, in the ballpark of this one is 3D plastic parts. Um, you know, pretty much mostly plastic with a couple moving metal parts. This is all metal. It's Put together very, very snugly, <laughs> uh, very sturdy. Um, it has a very easy to use interface, which helps with that nasty learning curve. It's also extremely customizable. Uh, there's groups on Thingiverse and everywhere else that can actually print uh, little parts to tweak it to make it faster or to improve the print quality. There's also a, quite a big industry of professionally made parts out there that you can buy to uh, tweak the printer however however you want you want it um, again it feels like a craftsman tool this is something that I feel like I could go down to the local hardware store and buy and not some cheap plastic kids toy that's gonna break on me it has a huge build volume it's it's rugged it's metal it feels just there's a weight to it and you know if you bump it it's not going to mess anything up um, the setup time again 30 minutes out of the box four screws good to go uh, loading the film it's easy the leveling is pretty easy just read the manual make sure you read the manual for the leveling once you do it once it's going to be easy forevermore um, and again great quality prints right out of the box I usually like to tinker and dial things in I didn't do this I didn't do this this time on this printer. I just put it in, hit print, auto fed the filament, got that loaded up, and boom, it started and it printed wonderfully. Um, another thing to consider when buying this, there is a huge support group on YouTube, Facebook, Google, basically all over the internet. You're going to find a lot of people that love this printer that would recommend it. Uh, tutorials are available on YouTube like crazy. And again, the company itself backs this printer up with the one-year warranty. Uh, the downside to this printer, this is a tool. Okay, make sure little hands can't touch the moving parts or the heating elements. They are exposed. They could burn a little one or a big one or anybody else that don't, doesn't respect this tool. I, I would, you know, this is a type of tool. You need to give the same respect and care for a power tool, a saw, a drill, a wrench, or anything like that. Um, the shipping company now kind of cool story another reason I really recommend this printer um, you can see the shipping company beat the crap out of the box I mean just beat it over on twitch and I'll leave a description in the bottom you can see me unpacking it um, and the, the box is just beat to heck in fact this came with a metal uh, glass plate inside of it and it looks like there was a boot print on it. It had shattered. I'm talking to um, the wing house support and also the shipping company to see if they'll replace it. But everything else in this printer was rock solid. I mean, it came out, it got up in 30 minutes, and that's just a testament to the design, the all metal frame, and the, how rugged this printer is. Um, I couldn't recommend this one enough. It's... Um, with any printer, you're going to get into a steep 3D learning curve. The manual does help. Unlike other kits of this price, in this price range, it's not just a fold-out piece of paper and it's plug-and-pray. 
Um, it actually takes you in step-by-step -step instructions of what does what, what you need to look for, how to maintain the printer. Um, the cost on this, it is a little steep. You're looking over over 300 350 to $400 with this printer. However, nothing else in that price range even comes close. Printers in the 1700 to $1,000 price range don't even come close to the reliability and the structural support of this thing. Again, I am biased. I put, uh, my first printer was the Wang Hao Duplicator i3-1. Um, however, I've seen this is a totally upgraded machine, far surpasses the older versions, and it's just a gem to use. I couldn't, I couldn't recommend it more. Um, I'm also including links to, on the Twitter feed, I have a number of videos of me unboxing it, putting it together, commentary in the first print. Go ahead and check that out. If this has been helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe. Please comment, argue, fret. Um, let's have a conversation in the comments. And thank you, and have a great day.